Hey everyone, it's Baby Bear and huge shout out to the community guys. Thank you so much for submitting tickets. We got the forest update. They changed the Helen debuff back, so just make sure you check that out. But super, super excited. I can't believe they finally fixed something and so fast as well. So make sure you collect your boxes that you got as compensation. And seriously, thank you to everybody who who helped and celebrating. <laughs> Celebrating an achievement. We finally got a win. So anyways, I want to start out by saying that a lot of people really, really enjoyed the Tay interview. There's actually another interview with Tay and the Tyrant and Mr. Yours. Uh, that he did a live stream the other day. So check that out because that was actually really fun. And I just I love being able to hear more from the community. And I think that's something that Evany is missing is we're missing kind of the glue of putting our whole community together because it's kind of segregated, right? It's kind of like C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. And it's it's better, I think, if we all work together and we can actually get results, you know, as a community. So anyways, the whole point of this video is interviewing Dab. Dab is in 1122 and Alliance TOH and I think you guys are just going to love this interview. And again, I'm sorry about the audio quality. I'm going to figure this out, right? This is my second interview. So I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to try to do the best I can for this one. But I think that all of the information is so valuable. So please stay tuned and check out all the great insights that Deb has to say. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Baby Bear and I'm so super excited to introduce you guys to Dab. I'm sure a lot of people know Dab from our C5 community. He won the Season 9 All-Stars, so he's a big deal on our server. But I just wanted to introduce some of our bigger players to the community. And we're going to do kind of another interview and hopefully this one works this time. So... um just first and foremost, how do you pronounce your name and how did you come out with that name? <laughs> uh, excellent. So first of all, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the time. Um, so it's just Dab. And, um, you know, it's it's funny. Everybody asks how I got it. And my, those are my lines know that I played professional football. At a certain point in, in that journey, there was kind of a, it was a saying that was was always used. And it had multiple meanings and everything, you know, some of them I'm not, I'm not repeating uh, out, you know, out loud, for, you know, for, they're probably not politically correct, but uh, some of, you know, it really, it was really like, do your absolute best. Don't allow bad. You know, it, it stood for a lot of things that just were, were always about dominate everything you do and do it to, to your utmost best. And so when I started playing this, I was like, oh, eh, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with dab. No, it's not. It's not the dab that you see <laughs> from like Cam Newton or whoever started that. Okay. I definitely every time I hear dab, I, I think of like, you know, the the dance move dab. So and dad jokes and stuff. Yeah. How long have you been playing Ebony? So you, I knew you were going to ask this, you know, and uh, so I went and looked and no one is going to believe this. I know it. So. The only thing I can look at is as of yesterday, I'd logged in 300 straight days and my um, shrine got up, up, upgraded to level six on July 14th of last year. Um, I know that doesn't sound like a long time and everyone's going to call BS on it, given you know how big I am. But that's the most that's as far as I know when I started. That actually tracks, though, because you're in a younger server than I am. And so. I've been playing, I think, a year and three months or four months. So, no, you're definitely a you're a younger one. How did you actually uh, even find Evany? Like, how did you get into it? Well, like a lot of people, it was this damn puzzle game that you know. Uh, I just was. I think I was playing some other game and I saw like an advertisement. I was like, ah, oh, something to kind of kill time. Maybe I'm on an airplane or something like that. And of course, it wasn't puzzles or anything like that so here's the big question and i think this is the money question are you going to try to get to keep 45 and i know we kind of talked about it but where have you landed so far on it oh it's a it's a debate um and i told you there earlier that there is a there is a con a 
contemplation in my mind of upgrading and I might do it on Friday. We're going to see. And I know like everybody else, I'm, I'm frustrated with some of the things I'm seeing, you know, the, uh, you know, some of the, 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 the new updates and the lack of uh, additional rewards from, from monsters and still taking wounded for no reason. And uh, some of the other changes. So I'm glad that you're showing your frustration in that, because I think that's definitely important, especially coming from a big player like you. Um, did you also know that the Helen, the Helen debuff was also nerfed? Yeah, I, I had seen it, you know, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it until today. And then yeah. it really irked me because let's be honest, um, people, people paid yep. understanding they were getting a certain debuff and now they don't, they don't have what they believe they were, they were paying for. And, and uh, that's simply just wrong. And yeah. I, I opened a ticket, you know, I don't know if they'll weigh my ticket any more than anybody else's, but that one is plain just wrong. Yes. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear um, you say that. And I really hope that the whole Ebony community kind of bands together on that one because that one is just black and white. You know, that's just, you don't take away a debuff. <laughs> you, you, you introduce other things to counteract it, but you don't take something away we already paid for. So. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you advertise it as X and people, people went after that. However, they did that. And, um, you, you, and then you don't even advertise it. You just change it and hope nobody, hope nobody notices it. So um, there, there definitely needs to be something done about that. And, and one would have to hope that, that, that happens, but, you know, back to the K45 thing, I'll probably end up doing it because I'm so damn competitive. That, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up not using my senses and, and upgrading to 42 or, and 43 on Friday, but <laughs> I can see where everybody else is coming from. I mean, I get it. Like, you know, for me, this game is, I love this game because I love strategy. I love numbers. I, you know, I love those kinds of things and, and I study it, but you know, it's for a lot of people. I mean, it's, they spent money. That's, it's just getting ridiculous at this point. Yep. You know, I, I guess maybe I sit in a situation where I'm able to do it and, and, you know, I can, I can kind of just not look at my uh, credit card statement and, <laughs> and be okay with it. But, um, you know, I get it, you know? Well, one thing that I do have a question for you is, why rush it though? Because we know challenge majors is not coming up for another, probably another three, four weeks. So do you know what I mean? Like I understand upgrading it or do you think that upgrading it now will help you upgrade the military academy and get all that kind of stuff ready? You know, and you make a good point. I've been sitting there thinking about it. Anybody who rushes it, you're going to end up missing something because we all know Ebony's going to release a whole bunch of stuff over the next six to eight weeks uh, leading up to challenge. And and if you know if you've spent before that, then you might miss something. Yeah. And there's so there's a point to that. I mean, some of those military academy buffs though are just you know, out of this world crazy. And once again, I think it's a competitive thing, right? Like, uh, okay, I see somebody else out there that's got those. So damn it, I want those too, even <laughs> though you know, I think you need to be smarter about it. But all great points. Thank you so much for those. Um, so. I always see you because I always like revere you as like our all star, like one of our all star leaders. I got pushed to C4. So unfortunately, I don't get to play with you anymore. But um, do you have any advice for people for all stars or do you just have anything overall to say about all stars? First of all, if you get the chance to do it, it's it's the great, you know, you know, what's the best part about all stars is is I've met so many really amazing people on other servers that, that I wouldn't have met otherwise. And, you know, we, we have great conversations about the game, uh, just about strategy, about things they're doing that maybe I didn't think of and, and you know, the reverse of that. And just also just cool people to get to know in Discord. You know, Discord can be intimidating to people if, if they're, they're not, maybe don't know anybody, you know? So, so just getting to be a part of the community more and, and seeing how people operate and how maybe they're doing certain things is just so much benefit to it. And it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Go into it. I mean, here's the honest truth. I went into season um, nine and there was no way I would have told you I was winning. Um, I just was super excited to be there, was learning a lot. And um, I, I couldn't believe I won. But more importantly than that was just the, the really cool people I met, all the things I learned, different techniques, just things about the game. So, uh, I mean, there's there's nothing bad about it. Are you going to get zeroed? Yeah, pretty pretty likely. Um, <laughs> so what? I mean, so what? It, you get your you get your you get your truth back at the end. So, <laughs> absolutely. And I'm going to ask Rana Terror. He actually recorded that streaming of you guys 
um, playing, he was playing on your team and you won that last minute. And it was, I think most people thought Tar Heel was going to win it. And then you kind of came up at the last minute and took it. And it was just kind of a really cool ending. So I'm going to try to yeah, it was, get some that. It was intense. Um, I will say, listen, I, I like Tar Heel. He and I get along. Uh, he was kicking me out of rallies at the end uh, so that I wasn't I wasn't going to catch him. Um, but, you know, hey, he was trying to win. You know, I get it. Um, that's awesome. Um, OK, so going back to um, I think going back to kind of what we were talking about on on uh, the developer side, do you have anything overarching that you would like the developers to know just as a as a player, as, as looking at the community of Ebony for the distance, right? Do you have anything yeah. that you want to tell them that, cause they watch this stuff, you know? Oh, oh I'm sure they do. And let me come at it from both sides. Like, you know, let me get on my soapbox and, and complain for a minute. I mean, <laughs> listen, the, 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 the rewards that they gave with some of the new monsters is, is, is ludicrous. It's, it's absurd. Why would I, I you know, I stopped hitting why sixes last week because what was i getting like one more thing nothing and i was taking some wounded at times and it was it was a waste um so they got to fix that and i'm praying pan is better tomorrow but i already expect that it won't be um you know and and then you got these hell vikings that i mean geez i'm, I'm i know i'm one of the most powerful keeps in c5 and i mean i'm over there taking wounded on on just about every viking above 40 like 43 or so and you know, I get that they're preparing for for T16s, but let's be honest. There's a minute set of people that are going to get the T16s, and I mean, it's just it makes things untenable at a certain point. And you know, there there's some other valid concerns people have around some of the changes that have been made. So they they got to do something about it, plain and simple. Uh, otherwise, they're going to kill this game. Now, on the other side of that, I heard what um, I don't know if it's Tay or Ty. He had an awesome idea. I love his idea about SVS, um, you know, where maybe there's a time frame on it where you get your, get some of your troops back. People would be way more willing to do it. It'd be a whole lot more fun because let's be honest, if, if there's an SVS and, and I'm active, everybody on our server goes silent yep. because, <laughs> you know, they don't want to lose. I get it, you know, so it doesn't make it a whole lot of fun for me or for anybody else. So if that would really, I think, make SVS so much more fun. But here's the one I really want. I want some kind of a battlefield where I can play with other players from other servers. Um, let us make teams. You make teams. I mean, think about it. I'm going to go to BOG uh, here in a little bit. And my alliance is awesome. We have a great time. But, you know, a lot of them, let, let, you know, they go in there saying, all right, well, Dad's going to run every rally and I'm just going to join them and hope I don't get zeroed. And is that making them, is that the most fun they could have? Whereas maybe let me go pair up with a couple of K40s and we go, you know, play against some other K40s and, you know, I get to play with people from other servers and they can go pair up with some people that are K35s or whatever it happens to be. And, you know, we've made friends in, in, in this game, but I can't play with them short of the couple of times in All-Stars and I don't have any say in who I get to play with there, you know? Absolutely. I, I would love to see something like that. Hopefully Evany can think of some other events that can actually utilize that. I like that idea as well. Um, so while we're talking about your alliance, do you have any, any thoughts about, are you going to start kind of trying to recruit? Are you going to try to be like an RSP or a VIG where people, you know, where you can recruit other people to your server to play with you to have maybe a more competitive alliance? I know you guys are super competitive already, but is that anything right. down the line? Man, you know, everybody keeps telling me that there's two things everyone keeps saying to me. Hey, Dab, you need to stream. Everybody would watch that. And I, you know, it's, I don't know. I, I guess I should. And I'm sure that would be kind of cool. And, and hey, message me in Discord if you think I should. But I, I don't know. It's not who I am. And so recruiting is not something that is in my nature, if you will. Um, we have had a few people join the server because they want to play in our alliance with us. But I, I haven't done the act of recruiting and I probably should. Um, you know, it certainly would improve, improve our alliance a little bit more. And uh, you know, as we move forward and things get bigger and bigger, I, you know, it's not my end goal to just say I want to be the next RSP or hot or whoever it happens to be. But, but you know, I, I, I guess I probably should. <laughs> I I mean, I think that would be cool. And I would definitely love to watch you for sure. So 
Um, but you know what? They can stay in the comments and and definitely let you, let you know. Even at one point after I won All Stars, Ebony reached out and was was trying to push me to to stream, and I, I guess I should, but I just haven't. You know, I'm, I don't know, kind of just do my thing, if you will. But I know it'd be cool for people to see, hey, how do we do things, or just kind of you know how we operate. So. Uh, definitely something I need to consider. This is a question that I ask everybody. Are you guys a burn bubble and burn server or a nap server? Man, uh, <laughs> can I say both? <laughs> um, it, we, right now, things are pretty calm. I would say a couple months ago, I, we had to do, take care of some things, if you will. <laughs> um, and things have calmed down a lot because of that. I'll leave it at that. So, so right now, I, I would say we're a nap server, but but we had a few months of uh, of Bob. <laughs> okay. Look, sometimes you just have to do that to get you know to get the server the way it needs to get. Sometimes it needs to happen. Do you have any advice on that council update? Have you looked into that at all? Yeah, I mean, I mean, here's the cool part for for even the average player is you know it's it's free buffs. And, you know, it doesn't, it's not telling you in there that, you know, you, you have to, you're talking about the Senate, right? Oh yeah. The Senate. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And it's not telling you, you have to have like the, the, the best generals in the world in there. It's just telling you, you got to have a general that's got a certain number of stars and red stars in it. So, I mean, some, some people could sit in the um, tavern and just start grabbing a general that meets the requirements for the different troop types and it's free buffs. Now, granted, you're going to have to use, um, you know, blood to get it to get it up. But but, you know, they're pretty much handing you free buffs that if you do it right, you don't have to spend a bunch to do. That is a great um, that's actually great advice. And, you know, um, and maybe just waiting until the, the trial of nights event comes. So, correct. You, yep. Yep. That's great advice. You know, this is actually a way where. You know, you when you're doing trial nights, which is going on right now, get a bunch of a certain general in the tavern and you know upgrade them. It's in the trial of nights is going to give you more blood. Of yep. course, you can upgrade it more. So, so it's a cheap way uh, to get some buffs. Now, for me, uh, you know, I'm I, I have opened all three levels. I forget what their names are, except for the last two. Um, I think it's uh, what is it siege and range in the the last column are not unlocked yet but you, that doesn't unlock until you're like k42 or 43 or something like that so ah so that's um, incentive that's incentive for you to keep upgrading for people <laughs> there's, <laughs> listen there's some, there's a bunch of developers we're driving around in bugattis right now somewhere they're not <laughs> completely dumb around how to how to get some of us to spend money i get it <laughs> You know, and, and, you know, I see what they're doing right now. I mean, they're, they're definitely attacking people with alts and, um, you know, I won't comment on, you know, some of the other things that you know, people have figured out ways around it, but, you know, it's clear they have a big target on, on alts at this point. Yes, for sure. Definitely is, is definitely going to be a game changer. Um, is there anything else? I think we've gone over all the questions, but you've been just an absolute pleasure. Is there anything else that, you'd like to let the community know? You know, I, I just, I enjoy the game. And, you know, I think it's just, hey, it, you're not going to be perfect at this thing. And it's, I, it, I think some people in my own alliance get, be, they get afraid to ask me questions because they're like, oh, I know, you know, I don't want to ask you this dumb question. I'm okay with it. Like, you know, we're all learning. Some of us spend more time in this game than we probably should, and so we probably have learned more. But but you know, it, it's a game, so it's okay. And and I don't mind simple questions. At, at least you show that you care about the game and are having fun. Exactly, exactly. And just one one thing that somebody mentioned on the Tay interview, they said I didn't an ask like something personable enough. So do you have anything <laughs> outside of Ebony that's like on your bucket list that you want people to know? <laughs> anything. <laughs> On my bucket list, um, you know, I, not myself. I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I've done a lot in my life, but I will say that uh, I spend a significant amount of my time these days um, coaching. I have three kids, and one's uh, thirteen, and she's one ranked one of the top softball players in the country at her age group. And so I, I coach her. I have coached her, and she and I travel around the country playing all over the the U.S. and 
I that's that's what I do when I'm not playing Ebony, man. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome to hear. Well, thank you so Excellent. much for your time, Dab. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this. I think you're doing something cool, and I really appreciate you uh, reaching out to me. Absolutely. So I'll let you know when this gets posted, and I will try to look for some of the streaming videos that you're in, and I'll probably have some footage of just your keep doing rallies because every time I see, because I bookmark you guys, and every time I see yeah. your castle, you're always doing rallies. So you're very, very active. So oh, you know, tomorrow is bad. <laughs> yeah exactly thank you and i hope you have a, an amazing evening so that's the interview with dab i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if there are more questions you want me to ask i'm gonna try to keep asking bigs if they would be willing to get interviewed whoever knows sir philip can you please put in a word i did email him but i didn't hear back but i'm such a persistent person so Hopefully one day we can get an interview with Sir Philip. But I really enjoy talking with Dab. I especially love that he still loves the game, even with all of the things that are going on. But it's so good that he he asked for the problems to be addressed. And as a community together, we all got the Helen debuff changed, you know? So I'm really super stoked that we actually got to make a change for once. And I think it's because we were talking to all continents, all servers, all types of players, everybody was voicing and kind of uniting in that voicing. And I think that's really important. I also really like what Dab was saying at the end is that, you know, Ebony is fun and it is something that it should enhance our lives. But if it's something that causes you misery, if it's something that you feel cheated from, if you feel that the developers are treating you unfairly and whatnot, it's you know, go and enjoy something else in life that will serve you. And I, I really think that's important that you have something outside of Ebony that you love besides just Ebony. And I think that's really important as well. And I really am looking forward to seeing more of Dab's performances. I hope we get to see him stream. Uh, let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that more in the future. And let me know who I should keep keep bugging. I got to keep bugging people and hopefully we'll get a better interview set up. But I'm uh, trying my best on this. This is my second time ever doing it, but I am getting a little bit more comfortable and I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. And one more shout out I want to give to is Reina Terror. This is his stream. He played with Dab and Tar Heel for the Season 9 All-Stars, and I'm so glad that he captured it because the ending was just really awesome. So if you want to see that, I have the link in the comments that you can go and check him out. He does play with a lot of teams, so I, I like watching when he plays with NFG, and he just is just an overall great gamer. He knows everything about all games, not just Ebony, so I always go to him for a resource, and I think I've known him since pretty much the start of when I started playing. So really, really cool guy. And here's the victory, the victory page of Dab winning. So cool. So congratulations to Dab. And hopefully we see more, more wins in the future from him. And if you guys are going to spend, please use Aptoid and the description below. You will see a code and you'll see all the info. So Enjoy your game, guys, and I will see you guys again soon.